Hi guys, it's your girl Keo Chemist and I know it has been a long time since I've done one of these but this morning I've decided that I am vlogging on the go, I'm vlogging on the go, hi all the Dario, I'm vlogging on the go. So yeah guys, it's been a minute, I had a lot going on in the past few weeks, um, can't even remember, I guess my last vlog was um, during my Jamaica trip actually and after Jamaica August kind of just flew by and I was preparing for my 5k and trying to do some vlogging associated with that and okay they're gonna let me go and so what ended up happening is I just yeah life just happened between work and other type of social activities I had going on I just didn't really have the time to pour into the vlogging on the go but I did decide to pop on today just to kind of give you guys an update with what's been going on with me um, so today is September the 13th Friday the 13th um, and it's post uh, Jamaica post Labor Day which I did go home to visit my family um, and then turn right back around that same week and went down to Charlotte for the Black Girls Run Sweat With Your Soul 2013 event. Um, I still plan to do a separate vlog about that, um, but I, I must tell you, it was amazing, um, to say the least. It was an amazing experience um, all around. Uh, not just, it wasn't just about running. Um, the seminars and workshops, the people that I met, I, again, I, I want to do a separate vlog to do it proper justice but if you follow me on Instagram then I know that you know you saw lots of pictures and I did a few video clips um, so I was kind of taking you along with me the entire weekend um, so when I do my vlog it'll primarily just be you know I don't know I'll probably maybe put in a few pictures but yeah but it was a great event and I do encourage those of you who couldn't make it this year they are planning to have one next year I encourage you not just from a standpoint of the fact that I was on a social media team or whatever I encourage you to sign up prepare yourself to go uh, I I am almost positive that you will not regret it I'll just put it that way but yeah other than that things that are going on in my life not much is going on with my hair. Um, I've been retwisting water only um, when I've been doing that. I haven't retwisted since uh, the race weekend. I only kind of tidied my hair up because I knew I had to put it up in a bun and I wanted to be snatched and whatnot in my cute black dress that I made if you saw that picture on Instagram. Um, but yeah, I, right now I'm just going to be washing and going probably for the most part up until my birthday, which is in November, November 1st. Actually, maybe the weekend before, because I'm going to do something the weekend before as well. Um, and speaking, oh, did I go a cop? Where is he going? Speaking of my birthday, so some of you who follow my channel, you know, you may have not been on here very long, and you may not be aware that your girl is about to turn 37. Yes, three and seven put together. Yes, I have been on this earth almost 37 years and very blessed and very fortunate and not ashamed to share that number with the world. But um, what's about to happen is I'm going to be going to my university's homecoming because it happens to be on my birthday weekend and I'm super excited. I love when that happens. Um, and if you don't know, I am an Aggie. I did attend North Carolina A&T State University and I'm a very proud Aggie. Um, Aggie pride, right? Real quick, real quick. And so, um, since I'm going to homecoming and it's going to be my birthday weekend, you know, I just want to be extra, you know, just fabulous, I guess, because, you know, i got to be representing for the 35 and up group now. <laughs> so, um, I'm feeling, you know, I'm feeling good about myself, but I'm going to take it up an extra notch. So, my plan, you know, I always like to have these little plans like March of Pilates and you know, I was planning to run the 5K, so I was trying to vlog and share that with you. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do official vlogs on this, but I have, I'm working on a plan. And it's called 37 before 37. So, 37 days out from my 37th birthday, I am planning to just really kick it into high gear with really 
sleep watching what I eat and working out, like just kicking off this health kick. Now I'm hoping what's going to happen is that it will continue past the time that I turn 37. But I just want to be, like I said, a little extra for homecoming weekend. I want to be looking, you know, I want to be looking, you know, I want to be looking good because I'm going to be hanging out with some of my girls and some of them are like, you know, they moms and they, you know, I like bumps in the road. Sorry guys. You know, they're moms and they looking all good and stuff and, you know, they have a kid. So I don't have any kids. So I don't have no excuse to be walking around looking a little puffy and whatnot in certain areas so that's my plan um so i think what i'm going to be doing is some weight training some cardio what i've done is i've dug out all of my workout dvds and workout equipment that i have purchased over the years that has collected dust and i am planning to utilize these things that i have already purchased in addition to probably adding in some runs. It's about to be fall here pretty soon in New England, but I still think I'll you know, be able to get out and run at least once or twice a week. So I'll uh, keep you posted if you guys are interested on my 37 before 37. Um, I know oftentimes people don't like to tell their age, and sometimes I don't like to just because you know I like to be mysterious, but I am very proud of myself and you know how well I am aging and the things I am accomplishing in life so I don't have a problem talking about it I know some of my girlfriends have recently turned you know some of my younger girlfriends recently turned 30 and 31 and they're just like woe is me and I'm like girl please um, I don't measure it in numbers I measure it in accomplishments and blessings and not in years. I don't think years necessarily stamp a specific, you know, there's not a specific thing that gets stamped on you once you turn a certain age. I think it's all in how you live your life. Oh, excuse me guys, I gotta back up to get into a good space. People don't be parking straight. They be making me mad up in this parking lot. But uh, yeah, it's all in how you live your life and, you know, the things that you attempt to accomplish in the time you were given here on this earth. And so, I'm very proud to tell people, you know, my age. Although I will tell you guys a quick funny story. So when I was on my way to Charlotte, I was fortunate enough to get upgraded to first class. I love a good upgrade. And so I'm sitting in the plane uh, seat and the attendant comes up to me as soon as I, you know, if you're in first class, as soon as you get seated, they immediately try to take your drink order. Um, and I always try to maximize my time in first class, so uh, your girl always tries to order her a cocktail. Not because I'm a lush or anything, I don't be off drinking like that. But, you know, I want to get the maximum bang for my upgrade, okay? Or book, or however you want to look at it. So I ordered a my, my drink on in first class that I found is a safe bet that everybody makes well. is ginger ale and the Bacardi Silver. I, I fly U.S. Air, so that's the white one. And so I ordered that, and I'm sitting, and out of the corner of my eye, I see my this lady, this, this lady, she's like middle-aged, Caucasian lady. As I'm ordering it, I notice that she made this, like, real stank face about it. Like, so I'm thinking maybe, and then I heard her order water, so I said, well, maybe she doesn't drink, and maybe she doesn't like people who drink, or maybe she thinks, maybe she had a bad, I don't know. Maybe she had a bad experience with a seatmate in a, you know, on another flight who drank some alcohol. She just made this really foul face at me, so I was just like... Okay, I don't know what your problem is. So, but me being the chatty person that I am, after a while we got to talking and um, after the flight took off, because my flight attendant took my drink, I didn't finish it before the flight took off and he took the drink, which some flight attendants do that and some don't. Some let you just keep your drink, but he was just like he needed to take it and he would give me another one when the flight was off the ground. Okay, fine. So he brings me a fresh drink. And at that time, she ordered a drink. So then I'm like, okay, well, it can't be that fact that I'm drinking. So we got to talking. And so I just kind of casually mentioned that my birthday was coming up and I was going to be 37. And she makes this, like, amazed face. And I'm like, okay. And she said, that's, she said, oh, she said, oh, my gosh. She said, I don't know if you noticed, but when you ordered that drink, <laughs> when you ordered that drink uh, when you first got on the plane, she said, I was just very upset that he was going to bring you a drink because I didn't think you were old enough to order a drink. And I was like, okay, now look at here, lady. That's what I'm thinking to myself. Now, I may not look 
37 but I know I look legal that's what I was thinking to myself but I was flattered nonetheless and so it made me feel a little special now that my birthday's you know on the horizon but yeah guys I'm just on here just to say hi I've missed you guys um I'm gonna get consistent again it's just life has been hectic but in a good way and um, I hope you guys are doing really well. You know, feel free to comment below. Let me know what you've been up to. Let me know if your birthday is coming up. Uh, let me know if you have any new fitness goals or plans coming up. Um, let me know some of you out there are, you know, getting getting up in a little bit of age. If you're feeling some kind of way about it or if you're celebrating it like I am and shouting it out to the world. I love to hear from you guys, though. So, yeah, um, if you haven't subscribed and you just happened to run across this video then please do subscribe for more videos um, and of course if you're watching this and you're always watching and you want to hear more from your girl please like and comment below alright guys see you soon bye oh yeah and I am rocking out my beads from Barbadian 261 some of my glass beads I never wear these I buy them though like I'm obsessed with them and yet I don't wear them as often as I should so today it's Friday it's you know kind of more of a casual day at work I decided to rock them out today in my hair and I'm feeling cute I'm about to post some pictures on Instagram showing you know more clear pictures but this is a heart this one is just like some kind of abstract little whatever and then this one's sort of like a little flat like leaf. These are like the Jamaica colors. And then this one has some green in it. So I just threw it in. All right, guys. I'm on my way into work. Bye.